Watch, if I layer myself on top of your pattern, yeah. do we feel more cozy? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra. And I'm Danny. <laughs> who I'm sure you guys know from some of my previous videos. And today we're actually doing something really exciting. So you may have seen Danny come in and out of my videos to do her awesome DIYs. So we have actually decided, yes, like this one. <laughs> But we have actually decided to make a bit of a monthly series out of it. Because so we love each other so much. It's true. <laughs> well, it's most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're creating a new series together. We're gonna have hopefully one video a month come out where basically I decorate the space and Danny finds a DIY solution mm -hmm. for the space and we like collab and create a beautiful makeover together. Yeah. We yeah. figured together we're very strong. I mean, separated, we're very strong too. But when we come together, it's like, Bam! You create magic. We also need a series name. Yeah. So we, let us know down below. We cannot figure it out. Cannot. We've been through like beautiful homes or easy decoration. <laughs> and every time home. you say something, I'm just like, no. And every time I say something, you're like, no. Today, we are going to be tackling Lara's space. Lara is so lovely. Oh my God, the nicest woman She's ever. She's so lovely. So she lives downtown Toronto. Um, she moved into her space, I think a year or two years ago. I think she said about a year ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she wants us to tackle the living room. So the first thing to note is that this living room is quite large, which is great. It gets yeah. lots of light. A lot of window space. A lot of window space, but mm -hmm. she has this big, huge blank wall right when you walk in and she yeah. said, can you help me figure out what to do with this wall? And I was kind of like, why don't we give this whole living room a bit of a change up? Just the feng shui of the room needed something, you know? Totally, and she had also said that. She was like, I've had it set mm. up this way with the couch by the window. It's kind of awkward. But the TV was so far away from the couch that it just <laughs> like. Been like, I'm sorry, what's yeah. on? <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, yes, I'd love to take on this yeah. space. I asked Danny to be involved. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we did this amazing makeover. I like the <laughs> magic. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Woo! The first thing that I'm gonna do is clear out this space. Kind of like throw everything in her bedroom because we are gonna completely rearrange it. You may notice Danny in the background doing her thing. Just, you know. I did a lot know. that day. There was a lot going on there was in a one lot. tiny space. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot. But yeah, we're cleaning this space out and then we're gonna kind of start from scratch. So after everything's kind of cleared out, I'm actually gonna move the couch. Now this was a huge big couch. game changer. It was, yeah, yeah. it is a big couch. And you and I played with the layout a lot, and we actually decided to move the couch into the middle of the room, mm -hmm. which I feel like is gonna be controversial before you see the whole space really? come together. Well, I think it's controversial because we're taking this kind of like big open room and like sticking a couch in the middle. Yeah, okay, fair. I mean, fair, but like as soon as we did that, yeah. it was like everything changed. Suddenly the room became cozier, it became more intimate. It just makes everything feel warmer. Lara had these kind of, they were very decorative like lacy curtains, but Lara had a very like particular style in mind and Danny and I just felt that the things that she had picked to put in her living room didn't reflect that style. Which is very common totally. when it's like, you're like, I love this style and I keep buying all these things and yeah. I don't know why I'm not getting there. Even something as simple as changing up the curtains can oh. really make a space feel more like your style. Mm -hmm. So I went out and I found her these really cute um, tufted kind of like pom-pom curtains. They were so cute. They were so cute and girly and feminine yeah. and even though the lace curtains were very simple, it mm -hmm. just was not in line with her style. And I think that these pom-pom curtains really helped kind of bring it all together. And of course we loved them because they were pom-pom curtains. Because they were pom-poms. <laughs> so now Danny is gonna tackle this big open wall. In this series, all of the DIYs are gonna be over on Danny's channel. So yeah. if you see something that Danny's making that you love, mm -hmm. go check out her channel for the complete process. I explain it more in depth. Yes. And like you see a little bit more behind the scenes. She had this giant wall and we knew because of the way that the we had divided the space, that wall is the first thing that you see when you walk in that living room. It kind of had to be the focal point. I will say her inspo shots was like polka dots and pink velvet. Well, it was it was oh joy. Like it was oh, oh joy, yeah. A lot of oh joy style, so it's like just cute and yeah. like a little boho. Um, so we wanted to bring that joy into her space. And so one of the photos that she had showed us had this like polka dotted wall. So I thought, well, let's do something that's a little bit more, I know this sounds like really like, eh, but like organic. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to like take paintbrushes and then we ended up doing like this beautiful mural 
on the wall with just like different paintbrushes yeah. and strokes. And honestly, you guys know that this channel is all about like accessible DIYs um, and just like easy quick fixes. So easy. This wall took Danny maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, go check out her channel to know exactly how she did it. You, mm -hmm. you use like a really cool technique with different paintbrushes. Mm -hmm. um, and I think everyone needs this polka dotted wall and I need this it's, polka dotted wall. It's so easy. Like it's so yeah. easy to do. So next up, I'm adding rugs to her space. Lara actually had this very kind of boho rug mm -hmm. in her space that we were gonna use for this makeover. Mm -hmm. But once I brought it in um, with all the other pieces we had sourced, so even though Lara's rug kind of fit the boho style, it wasn't very girly. It was more like a sophisticated kind of boho. And so I thought I'm gonna layer two rugs. Now I've done this mm -hmm. once before, very controversial in the comments, people. People really? either like love the layered rugs or despise <gasps> it. No way. I feel like mm -hmm. in this space it really worked and here's why. We had this um, kind of neutral like jute rug, which, jute. Jute? which is natural and boho feeling, but mm -hmm. I wanted a pop of color. It seemed like very kind of plain. It needed something. So I mm -hmm. actually had this other rug in my loft, my prop loft, and just haven't had a space to use it, but it was small. It's like a five by seven, maybe smaller, right. four by nine or something. Wouldn't have been good for that space. Wouldn't have been good for that space. So yeah. I just layered it on top, put it on an angle, and I uh. think it just uh. works. You have these two like contrasting patterns. You have the pop of color with the flowers mm -hmm. and it adds to that like boho textured feel. A tip is definitely to layer rugs, layer um, cushions, layer throw blankets. Mm -hmm. Just adding in that texture is really like really watch if I layer myself on top of your pattern yeah. do we feel more cozy <laughs> <laughs> I literally feel like you're wearing the bookshelf that's in my living room now which, which used to be your in my bedroom <laughs> it's lovely How you look lovely in my bookshelf my bookshelf video yeah, leave a comment down below if you know what video we're talking about <laughs> some of the OG Alexandra Gator videos okay back to the makeover so this is actually maybe the best piece in this entire makeover. I decided right. to do a hanging macrame chair in Lara's space. Can't even deal. So, so I wanted to do a hanging chair in a space for such a long time. And I know I'm gonna get questions about this. So I'm gonna link um, the chair we used and also the hardware kit that I used mm -hmm. to install this because you need a very, very like secure anchor so it doesn't fall through the ceiling. And you also have to make sure that there are studs in the ceiling that yeah. you can drill into. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So Laura actually had a concrete ceiling, so I called in a contractor. I'm also gonna link down below the company that I use to find a contractor. And he did an amazing job with this kit. Yeah. This chair, I just wanna say, everyone needs one. It costs under $100 so comfortable. We put it right by the window. And again, I just wanted to add in a piece that was boho, that was girly, that was textured, mm -hmm. um, and just was like that pop when you walked into the room of like, that mm. is so cool. So I'm just layering on a throw blanket to make it extra cozy. As always guys, I've linked all the products down below, like this chair, if you wanna buy them. Let's all have hanging chairs. Basically. Let's all hang out. And then I'm just using her, the media unit she already had, placing that in front of her TV. And again, like, what a difference. Now she can actually watch TV comfortably. <laughs> binoculars, <laughs> Ditch no binoculars. more. <laughs> so next up, I'm just bringing in a beautiful coffee table. This has gold legs, um, kind of like a faux marble top. Again, just to bring that like girly element to the boho space. Because there is a lot of texture, I kind of wanted to juxtapose it with a bit more like cooler tones. Mm -hmm. So like, the metals, um, the marble. And then above the TV, I'm hanging three pictures by the one and only Danny Berger. If you guys didn't know, Danny actually has a Society6 shop, which is so cool. I'm so proud of you. you. And she puts all of her amazing art um, up there. These are up on your shop, right? They are up there. Yeah. You can buy three of them or you can just buy one of them. Yeah, they kind of work either way, like they yeah. as a collection or just one-offs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just hung three of them in these really natural wood frames from Ikea just to add, again, like something else to the wall. I wanted to layer lots of materials, lots of colors, lots of textures. So then in this corner, I'm just completing this um, little living room setup with a gold floor lamp. Again, to add that kind of like girly, boho, glam kind of feel. I love that lamp. You can never go wrong with a floor lamp, honestly, in a living room. It just adds mm -hmm. warmth, it gives you a little bit of light, and then you don't have to always rely on a ceiling light. Lara had this like very small kind of 
glass chandelier. It was really pretty, but again, just like, it just, it wasn't in line with the vibe that she was going no. for. We no. wanted to bring in a light that had lots of texture that was very boho. So I used the <laughs> one and only. The light, what is the it called? Light. I don't actually know and I should really know it. <laughs> I know Carla's face right now is like, what? It's the Ikea rattan light that I, yes. that I always use. The three tier but light. Danny had an amazing idea to make yeah. it different than. Well, I was like, if we're gonna bring in that light into the space, let's do something really unique to it. And yeah. like, so we talked about, you know, we've seen out there where you can add pom poms to it for obvious reasons, but I was like, I don't know. I wanted to do something a little bit more like original. So in our love of ombre, <laughs> always, I feel like, I always ombre something. We decided to do a three tier ombre of the different pinks that you see throughout the space. And like, it turned out so well. No words, it was so beautiful. It turned out so well. A really good reminder that a big, beautiful light can create such a focal point in a room and just like bring all of your elements, all of your decor elements together. So head to Danny's channel to see how she did the ombre. Was it easy? Oh, Super like easy. incredibly easy, <laughs> but I mean, I do outline the steps on my channel, so cool. head over there to check it out. We've now finished this living room setup. It looks amazing. And now we're moving behind the couch. Laura had this kind of dining room setup. She had four yeah. chairs, the square table. And at first we were like, we should get a different table. But then we talked about it. Yeah. It's an Ikea table. It's like the table everyone has. And so Danny kind of challenged herself to make this table over. The black was not working. It was really dark just yeah, too dark for the space. It didn't suit the white airy look that she was going for. Yeah. But I think like the key factor here was that we didn't want something that was gonna cost so much money. We thought if we can make over the table, you save costs, but it showing the drastic change in the two, like it was, I mean, it cost me like 20 bucks to maybe make over that table. And I know for a fact that um, so many of you have asked, like I have Ikea furniture, how do I paint it? Yes. So Danny has the answer over on her channel. Yes. Go check the video out. Super easy. And you can learn how to, yeah, transform Ikea furniture. And that table from black to white was just like a game changer. Like oh. it, it actually just brightened yeah. the entire corner of that room up. We actually decided just to put two chairs there because Laura herself had said, I don't need four chairs. I don't like have that many people over and if I do, they'll sit on the couch. Mm -hmm. I just brought in two beautiful velvet green chairs, which I love. Got They're these on so Amazon. Beautiful. They're in my Amazon shop, link down below. Ugh, and so comfortable. So comfortable. <laughs> And then above the table, we're adding um, a simple photo rail, again from Ikea, and just adding a few pieces of art, some of which are Danny's own creations. <laughs> I mean, I just threw them in there. Oh yeah, link down <laughs> below. A photo rail is such a great solution because Laura can change up the photos and art whenever yeah, she likes. No commitment. Okay, and now we're just adding the finishing touches. Danny did some really cute pom-pom flowers on the coffee table. We hung a pom-pom garland by the curtains, adding some cushions and some blankets, again, just to give it that cozy, textured feel. Really came together. It really did. <laughs> Okay, are we gonna bring in Lara? Ah, let's, I always get so nervous. Yeah, I know, me too. But we worked so hard <laughs> on this like, and I really hope she likes it. I loved the room. I mean, we were all sitting in it being like. So let's bring her in. Okay, ready? Yep. Picture what your living room looked like before. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm so excited. Three, two, one. Oh my God. This is so cozy. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. I love it Yay! so much. I don't even know where to start because like, I actually feel like I have a living room now. Yay! Because before it was like a big space and a couch. It's so cozy. It is so cozy. I love this setup so much. Like I never th thought that the couch in the middle of the room would actually look Yay. Like. 
you. I can't There's, wait to sit on that chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I love it so much. Yay! I'm so glad. <laughs> Whoa. Isn't oh it amazing? God, it makes me so happy. Isn't it amazing? I'm just like sitting here with my book with a little tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Creeping on some people over here. They've been patio. having a party for like four hours. Oh, so. okay. Yay. Yay! I love it so much. I'm so glad. Okay. I'm so happy with how that turned out. Laura loved it. She loved it. I also just wanted to give you guys a reminder of what this room looked like before. Like roll the tape. What a difference, some paint, just moving furniture around and yeah. adding a couple of rugs. What a difference it has made to this space. I mean, like she was like, this isn't my space. I know. <laughs> I was like, we know. <laughs> and before we were like, oh, this space feels so cold and then by the yeah. end of the makeover we were like we just want to hang out and watch tv in lara's yeah. living room it was like the sun was going down yeah. and some like i'd added twinkle lights on the chair and everything just was starting to feel so cozy we're yeah. like let's just all hang out yeah <laughs> i think lara's probably like, we're like okay we gotta go <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching let us know in the comments if you love this series what we should call it if you have any ideas of videos you want to see um with danny and i yeah and head over to Danny's channel to see the behind the scenes and all of the DIYs. And yeah, we'll see you, well, I'll see you next Friday. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Okay. <laughs>